It's a new form of puppy love that started here at MUSC with a pet therapy program. We pronounce these two pooches in love till treats do they part. Let's all <laughs> Today's celebration of love between MUSC pet therapy dogs Jazz and Murph was something Kathy Bennett, the MUSC pet therapy coordinator, has been working on for a while. This woke me up in the middle of November and um, I just started with uh, administration, of course St. Luke's Chapel and everybody I talked to just kind of joined in with the enthusiasm and we just kept going. Partnering with Charleston Animal Society, donations from today's wedding will go to assist in offsetting costs that the society takes on to heal the animals that come into the shelter. I thought what a way to raise money to offset some of the costs of all that they're doing. So it had a purpose and then it was an opportunity to get people together just to smile on the most romantic day of the year. And speaking of romance, News 2 caught up with the beautiful bride Jazz and the woman who gave her away, her mother, Pamela Deal, about how the newlyweds first came together. They've been, um, they've been buddies doing visits and stuff on the campus at the library and other things together for about two years and they've, uh, they've always shown an interest in each other. Dressed in something borrowed like her scrunchie garter and new like her veil, Jazz was ready to find her forever love and enlist in holy matrimony with Murph. Nothing much phases her, um, and she wasn't going to be a runaway bride because she really doesn't run. <laughs> that would take way too much effort, um, but she's just a sweet girl. While the couple will not be living together after their marriage, they will be working on a honeymoon in addition to working out holidays. In Charleston, I'm Kate Prestack. Count on two.